it's half past stupid o'clock. <laughs> At least for me, the moon is still up for crying out loud. Time for work on a Friday morning. And I'm back from South Africa. How you going? Okay, it's just me and he's tree lopping. The stupidest word, like ever. And they're just cutting branches off. See what these guys are doing back here. That's the tree. It looks thoroughly hacked. I mean, come on. Do you know? Seriously. Branches in the hole. The buster. Don't get it. Today, what I wanted to talk about is how not to do drone footage. As you know, I went to South Africa recently, took my drone, I was very pleased with that. I flew it out over the sea. I didn't have a laptop with me, so I couldn't see the results straight away. So that's point number one. Have some way of reviewing your footage easily. I'm waiting for my bus, and that's not my bus. So I flew the drone out into the sea. Uh, we had just a beautiful location. Maybe I can pop up one or two photos of the location. And the problem I found was the footage wasn't great, right? So I'd wasted all that time, all that money, all the effort to take the drone out and I had crap footage. So I'm really disappointed. I'll show you some of the drone footage. There are bits that are usable. Bear in mind it's the DJI Spark, so, which is fine. It's perfectly usable. So I guess point number two is I didn't have a flight plan. I just took it and I flew it out and tried to control it as best I could moved it over areas of the of the ocean that i thought was far out enough turns out it wasn't turns out although the drone looks tiny in the sky i wasn't really far out enough to make it worthwhile i should have gone out further having said that on my first flight out i ran into a small snag um, i got dive bombed or at least my drone did by some seagulls it's quite funny really but not when it's your only drone and it cost me a lot of money in my money in any case so i was really worried about the drone and i brought it back at great speed and then the last little video clip you can see the shadows of the, the gulls wings as they flew past my drone even once it was on the ground they were uh, still going for the drone so yeah that's probably message number three is Scan the area for birds, maybe even have something spotting, someone spotting for you that you're not sitting looking nervously out for the drone uh, and for birds that are going to attack it. You can just concentrate on flying. Point number four is I didn't use my battery. I flew for only four or five minutes and got a bit nervous and took the drone back, moved on to the next spot. And the problem with that is I really didn't utilize my flying time, took this thing all the way there and only used a fraction of the flying time, which is kind of stupid really, if you think about it. My second flight, I went to a higher location and flew out over the cliffs, similar thing. I didn't fly out far enough, no birds this time, but I didn't fly out far enough to get that really spectacular footage. So I was pretty damn nervous, actually. I remember sort of feeling my hands were shaky and I think it was a function of the altitude and I was worried birds were gonna bomb um, so there were a lot of things going on in my head that I thought uh, is this gonna work for me am I gonna lose my drone um, have I thought this through um, is the wind gonna take it the wind in the Cape gets notoriously strong it was a calm day but I was still worried about the wind there were a lot of factors point number four or five can't remember is practice if you the more you practice with your drone the less you're going to worry about losing control of the drone. So doing that again, I would actually fly the path I want to fly a few times, stop, check the footage, and do the flight path again, and check the footage again. I'll show you the footage that I got in the end, and you can decide for yourself whether it's crap or not. I think it's crap, um, considering the effort I went to. So that was today's episode. I hope you uh, have some commiseration for me and my drone footage. Oh, newsflash. I got quite a bit of money um, 
budget this year due to my 50th birthday and I want to buy a lens I really want to buy a lens let's see speak to you in the next video look forward to it bye